Hello and welcome back. I'm recording right again after I'm done recording this episode, well, the last episode, and we're going to head to Amber, and she is at the spa, but we don't want to head to the spa, we want to head to the bookstore. There are so many buildings here, it's actually really difficult to tell. Of oh, course, cool. she got those done. Lifetime happiness, that's good. Hmm, we want to get a bunch of her wants done while she's pregnant. Well, that's actually a really good thing. 12 hours for 50 bucks. Pretty good deal. Hmm. Now, if I were a bookstore, I would probably be around houses. But I could be completely wrong. Accidentally did that. Uh, seriously, if I were a bookstore, where would I be? Seriously, man, just stop it. Stop clicking that. Stop clicking the thing that you shouldn't click. Is this a library? Probably a library. It's the community center. I'm not even bothering to see uh, the buildings and blah de blah. Where would I be if I were a bookstore? Mm hmm. It's probably right by me, and you guys are probably just screaming at the screen if you notice it. Being like, it's over here. How do you not know that? Hmm. Oh, it's a gypsy wagon. I was wondering what that was. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just. Oh, that's an arboretum. Could have known that a couple episodes ago. Oh, what does that do actually? I'm pretty sure it's like quiz contest or something. Enter gardening competition. Talk to baby's breath. Search for fairies. This is interesting. Now, bookstore. Keep your eye on the prize. Where is the bookstore? This isn't like Sunset Valley where you just have like all of your buildings in one place. No, they have to be in different places. And yeah, I was right by the bookstore. <laughs> ah, shop for books. Close up on this. Sometimes the dirt just loads in before the grass. Because dirt comes before grass, and we're still stuck with you. Sure, why not? I don't even care about the celebrity point system. Honestly, why? I'm pretty sure she lost her celebrity star. I'm pretty sure she had one before. Yeah, childhood development. Finger painting 101, handbrit. I'm not sure what a pregnancy book is. I'm pretty sure this is one. I'm gonna get this one. I think it's. I think it's one. Let's just get this. I seriously do not know if this is a pregnancy book. I always have that problem. Is it a pregnancy book, or is it just a children's book? Who knows? It's probably that type of book. This one is probably just a pregnancy book. So yeah, this is her everyday wear, by the way, as the scenery, scenery, uh, scenery that was in around us. This is her everyday wear. Very nice, very casual. 10 out of 10. Would dress her up in again. By high chair? I do not like high chairs. Oh wait, speaking of children and being born, we should probably build a nursery. Now, where should I put the nursery? I think it'd look nicer in this area, but I also think it would be less convenient. Considering the doors and pathways and bum ba da 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 I think I should put one right here. I'm just going to build this on camera. Because it's not like I'm building the entire house. You can put this here. Just so we have a window into the nursery. 
This is a pretty small room. Actually, let's extend this room just an easy weensy bit. Just a bit. It's just that we don't have that much money, so we don't want to spend too much, but... Let's go this way, and then go this way. Because this can always also be their bedroom on the rotor. Use the cheapest walls possible. Go up. We're going to need to put on a roof. I know I have a very confusing system. It's, it's just I have to do things in a very particular way. Okay, so this will be our extension onto the house. Just so that there's a nice little nursery here for a baby. I wonder if it'll be a boy or a girl, but either way it's getting blue windows. I can tell you that much. Uh, should this be enough window wise? Should I add two more here? How much are these windows? They're 70 bucks. Should I just buy two more? I'm just gonna buy two more. Actually go back. Back. We can just use this window over here. Uh, so you're having a look into my thought process as for how I do things in my games. Uh, I should probably actually move this bookshelf to, let's say, it was just a space filler anyways. Uh, that bookshelf was actually just put there to fill some space anyways. So we can move that over here. We can take the cheapest door possible and put on the priest that they have for every door in this house. Uh, let's put it right about here. Now, as for floors, same as the rest of the, same as the parents' bedroom. Nice hardwood for a child. Should we have a pink room? I mean, even if it's a boy, even if it's a boy, should we just have a pink room? Or should we just make it, like, a more, so to speak, not gen- I feel like if I say gender specific, people will be like, but pink isn't a boy or girl color. And I know that it isn't. It's just that, I'm not sure. Just the kids making fun of him at school, being like, hi, huh, you have a pink wall? I'm not sure what kids... I'm just gonna be quiet now and just... Shh. I could make it pink. Or I could make it yellow, or I could make it blue, or I could make it any color at all. I'm gonna go for yellow. Because yellow's a beautiful color and we shouldn't neglect the rest of the colors of the rainbow. So, let's turn this to night, just so we can see how light it is in this room. This is why I saved up money, guys, because I knew it's going to take quite a bit of money for this room. I did just use a preset, I do believe. Yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. This is... Danny, how to create a child's bedroom 101. This isn't actually. I'm just gonna set intensity bright, this light. There we go, that's good. That should be good. I know I'm not supposed to cheat, but I don't think that that's too cheaty. Ooh, this one is very cheap. It's a custom content crib. And I like it. So, yeah, that's what we're going to use today. The cheapest crib possible. 
That one's pink. I don't want it to be pink. I want it to match the rest of the room. Everything should match the rest of the room. Or we can make it orange. Once again, the 10 minute mark. I find that annoying sometimes. Just every 10 minutes. How am I supposed to remember that? Processing, processing. So right now, you're getting a glimpse essentially into my mind. That's essentially it. Oh, I don't like that shade of orange. This is why I just use the mist colors, because they don't have any texture or effect. I know that that's weird. Some people think that it looks a bit cartoonish, but I personally like just using misc. Mm. We can use roses on this too, because let's face it, kids don't really care if they have roses. Roses are actually quite pretty, so I don't think it really matters. So yeah, this is my thought process, maybe, I don't know. I normally don't record this, I don't know, I'm recording this now. For the sake of recording, I suppose. And yes, I do have a high chair so expensive that with 400 bucks you can't buy it. That is how expensive one of them is, but to be fair, it is quite a fancy high chair. And one person that I had that was really rich. I had them buy the most expensive stuff for their toddler. I love how this baby isn't even born yet and I, j I just like making these in advance. I'm actually considering should I record this? Should I not record this? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just doing things in life and uh... Unfurnished, $21,000. Furnished, $25,000. What does it consider essential for being furnished? I mean, seriously, what does it consider being essential? Because I know that this furnishing is probably more than just $4,000. I'm just going to keep that blue because laziness. And I never buy high chairs because high chairs are fairly useless. I know, why are high chairs useless? Because you just, your sims always just head to that, and they always, they don't always head to it. It's more like it's really dislikable. Because think about it this way, they're just, feeding them in high chairs is such a nuisance. You can have this, and this. I know, that's a weird noise. I'm just continuing the word is. I really don't like how they prepare room for the parents to go behind there. Because I really don't want to have the parents to go behind there. I've never once... I don't think I've ever had them do that because I just usually send them to these objects so their parents don't have to take care of them as much. I know that that's a horrible thing to say. That's all I have to say about it. Okay, good. That is the nursery. The... I'm not sure if you can call this a nursery, honestly. But it is what it is. And you can't stop that. Man, we went on a spending spree today. And this room is quite bright during the day. Probably shouldn't have done that all in nighttime. But, hey, it's fine. Win the lotto? No. Actually. Uh, wait. Watching TV at a random lot. You can just come home. He's just sitting at home. Eating food. It is Florida. This is something I don't really care about. It's just story progression. You spent a long time on that room. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, I wanted to slow down. 
Read fragments. Yeah, you can read that after her. I probably should have gotten rid of this one. Oh, have a boy. Why not? I usually just accept those because it's like a 50-50 chance. I'm not going to force gender. So it is a 50 And You can only read this book to a toddler. What is with me in my selection of books? I mean, come on. What is a pregnancy book in The Sims and what isn't? Bookstore. Shop for books again. And we are selling this book because I do not care. It is called Don't Stay Within the Lines. Why are you forcing me to do this? This is like, oh, I'm losing money on this. I don't like this. Sorry, but that's just so frustrating because I don't even know what a pregnancy book looks like in this game because I always try to get them to have a pregnancy book and then I can't because they just don't do anything. Don't watch TV. I want you to work out or actually work from home. I'm not sure seriously how you can work from home if your job is being a playground monitor. I'm going to look this up. I'm going to head on my phone, sorry, and look this up, because this is being annoying. What is a pregnancy, I spelled that wrong, what is, what is a pregnancy book? I'm spelling this completely wrong in the... Where's a pregnancy book in The Sims 3? So I'm obviously not the only person. Which book is the pregnancy book? See, I'm not the only one who wonders this. I mean, seriously, how am I supposed to know? It's not like there's a section called pregnancy books. This is called childhood development. I'm assuming it's in childhood development. I just don't know. Is there a description? No, there isn't. I'm going to try this. So heading to the Sims 3 website has brought me to Yahoo Answers. If you look under the general bookstore, where is the general one? Okay, general. Okay, that one is it. Where, okay, it's in general, not childhood development. But there are so many books to look through, so we're gonna have to take a while to find this. Okay, preparation. Humanities, fine arts. Why do vampires suck? That's an actual book. Zombies ate my plants. Not childhood development. Those are books I read to the toddler. Please explain this to me, someone. Is it like for 200 bucks? Okay. It's like 200 bucks. Add to cart. Done. That took so long to find. I actually had to bother looking that up. The episode is nearly over due to that. But oh well. <laughs> So we got a nursery done this episode, and I think we'll end it off here, so hopefully you had a wonderful day, and yeah. Sorry that we didn't spend this episode doing too horribly much, but at least we got the pregnancy book, and that's good enough for me. So have a wonderful day, I'm gonna have a horrible time because I'm gonna have to edit two episodes after this, but it's worth it. So, see you guys next time. Bye!